Yo, what's up, people? I'm going to show you how to use Game Guardian on a rooted device. I've also got the exposed framework to hack one of these new games that are out, like this one, for example, because none of the in app purchases work. But that shouldn't matter because we'll still slew it. Mystery of Fortune 2. Right, the first thing we're going to need is some funds. For real. So wait till you die. And then you want to scan the, you want to scan the e for value which in this case is 174 under a d word then you want to change them values if you change it too high you'll get a minus result so just that, that should do for now But obviously, you've got to complete the level before you can actually do it. So we need to get some money to level up our characters. So just play this round for a few times. One more time, we should have enough money then to max level our characters. The game's gone glitchy because I've changed values that I shouldn't have. So take heed of that, people. Yeah, my game's gonna crash. Right. So that's what happens. But we should have enough money now to level up them characters. They got up to level 9,999, which is a lot to level up legit, I think. So click on formation. And obviously they start at level one, so that's the first one you want to scan. And you want to level up each of your characters once. Then refine your search to two. Then level them up once more. and refine that to three. Then you want to change these values to 9999. And there you have it, max level characters. Now we should be able to complete this. Now the first thing I'm going to hack is the actual rank points, which is what level you are. 
So my first set of rank points is 21 because it'll be easy to hack the coins down. So you want to do new search D word 21. Then you want to go next stage. Then 24 and 21 is 45, so you want to go 45 refine. And that must be our rank points, which is what level you are. Now you want to edit this to 2099999999. Which should send us max level after the second round, which ain't bad. There we are, thank you very much. So now the max ether we can earn will go up, which means at the end, when we search under the D word value, we should only get the results that we want, which will be the coinage. Search for 774. Johnny gave us 15, so we should be safe to change these. Change it to six nines. Yes, look at the war funds there, boy. Do that a couple times, you should have all the money that you can spend. So again here you want to search for 936. Again, change it to six nines. When we go back to our world map. I reckon we can crank our money up even more. quickly show you how to hack the items buy 10 of these items which I presume are the best items but I haven't really played the game Let's do a new search under D word for 10 then buy 10 more refine this to 20 Change these four values two zero nine 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 back item shop max items are them items Search for one five four eight. And now I'm going to try eight nines.
That's more like it. That should give us that should give you all the money you need throughout this. Anyway, peace. Yo, I've got one more hack I'm going to show you quickly on this, which is the item hack. Let me just quickly hire, hire some fresh units. Right, so what we're going for here is the items next to the ether. So we'll first scan for zero, new search. and then eat that bit every time you get an item. You just want to refine it. Stage starts, we find it back to zero.
that should be it. Normally it's only one game they crash, and that's mine if you can get us 40. Bam. As long as you save them values, I'll take note. Every round you can change it. To 40. No more getting hemp items. Peace, people. 